I was uh, approached by uh, Andy Kershaw, who was the, the band's former uh, musical director, and uh, talked about a, a commission for Water Beach Brass, which was very exciting. And uh, I was in touch then with uh, with Richard from the band. I came um, from the northeast down to Water Beach um, to attend a practice and meet everybody. And uh, Richard very kindly then took me around the area the next day, which was uh, very exciting. The piece was originally conceived back in 2019, and when it was commissioned by Urban and Civic then, um, and we were planning on, on uh, playing the piece in Ely Cathedral in 2020. We got the parts on, in February uh, 2020, uh, but in March we had to stop, of course, because of Covid. And in fact, in, in composing the piece and doing the history for it, collecting the history for it, um, we've learned a lot more about the site than, frankly, I knew before. We, we talked about how the, um, the commission was going to be funded and that, that uh, Urban and Civic had very kindly agreed to support that. And we also talked about expectations. Um, two memorable chats were that Richard was very keen to have a, a nice positive ending and, and everything like that. Um, but I talked to Dave and Ben, the two euphonium players, and they told me a lot of the challenging facts about the history of the, the pilots, for instance, that, that came to Water Beach during the war years and uh, what a difficult job it was and, and how many of them lost their lives so early. So they talked about some sort of requiem. So I was, I was left with the slight conundrum of, a, of something that was fairly sad and, and, and something that was quite buoyant. So that was in my mind. Um, but um, the next day when Richard took me around, um, one of the things we, we came to was, was Denny Abbey um, close by. Um, and I thought it would be lovely to in include the early history. I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, historic things, so that, that, that made a, a resonant note with me. Um, and then I think the last thing that, that really kicked things off for me was he, he mentioned uh, Land Beach Church and the Spire. Um, and uh, that, that spire and was used for pilots um, to, to help them land when they didn't have the other uh, facilities that they would have hoped to have. I've got my score here and uh, there we see the word beach and we have the notes B, E, A, C, H. Um, musicians would say there isn't an H, but in, in the German um, musical notation, um, the H is a, is a B natural, and what we call B in our musical notation is a B flat. So suddenly we've got this motif, and I've got, I've got to pay credit to, to Bach many, many centuries ago, who uh, used to spell his own name out occasionally within his music, um, B-A-C-H. All I had to do was add an E, and, and that motif was created. So that's very, it's integral to the whole piece. Um, and secondary motif uh, is just a rhythmic one um, because I took away a very interesting book about the 514 Squadron who were based at Water Beach. Um, so that gave me some great, great facts. Um, and uh, 514 I've brought into the music by a quintuplet, which was five beats within the, the first within one beat, then a crotchet, one beat, and four semiquavers, uh, so a five, one, four. So it's a work in, in three parts, and we start off at Denny Abbey, and we imagine in medieval times, and it's, it's dawn and some pilgrims are gathering outside the abbey, and in the background we can hear um, some singing coming from the, the chapel within the abbey and it's plain chant and we have uh, made the sound of the singing I guess come as, as the trombone section playing through this, this plain chant. Then we move off with a, a tune, uh, Stella Splendens, which is one of the earliest notated pieces of music um, attributed to St Thomas Aquinas. Um, so we actually have the pilgrims singing that as they set off along the, uh, the causeway towards Water Beach.
we stop at a, um, a well, which uh, when I walked along there with, with Richard, we saw this well. So we've, we've got this well and uh, a couple of players start a, a little musical dance, um, which is gradually joined in by the rest of the, the band. Um, then all of a sudden, in the midst of all of that, as it, it builds and builds and, and then we're suddenly interrupted uh, by the, the beach motif, um, which then transports us forward centuries and we're, we're now in Water Beach barracks in the war years. So there's various sections within this period. We've got a little march, all built, the tunes built on the, um, the notes of the, the beach motif. Um, and lots of the rhythmic fragments follow the 514 pattern to remember the 514 squadron. Uh, so there's a march, then there's a, a quotation of a, a hymn tune, um, which is a, a beautiful hymn tune written in 1919 after the First World War. Um, and it, it's the supreme sacrifice. Um, the words of Orient Hearts would be the thing that would get into a lot of people's minds. Um, so we quote that tune and there's little um, drum beat going on occasionally that brings out the 514 um, within that. We also have an offstage bugle, or offstage call representing a bugle call, um, Sunset, which is what was always the last thing to be heard on the military camps um, at the end of the evening. So there's, there's that going on. And then we've also, uh, I wrote a, a piece which represented the, the Requiem idea. And I've sort of noted in the score that it's a, re a Requiem for all people killed in conflict, um, because there's always two sides to, to every, every conflict. And, and really, you know, let's hope linking that together with the idea of the hymn and peace that we will find a point at some, some stage in life where the, this sort of madness ends. So the, the tune is very much features the euphoniums um, and uh, their, their little musical tune also uses the 514 fragment and it's a quite a sombre moment within the, the piece um, and I hope a, a suitable requiem to the, to the brave people uh, and particularly thinking about the people that were in, in Water Beach Barracks um, along with everybody else. Um, so the next thing we, we then get a reflective version of the beach motif and then we pick up tempo as we go into the last section which is a, a representation of Water Beach today um, and just a, a really happy motif um, again using the notes of the beach motif but imagining people strolling around a park um, and there is a lake and some of the plans that I was shown at the time when we were when the piece was commissioned included the possibility of a, a beach on the corner of the lake so again that's symbolism um, and uh, yeah so that we have this walk around the park and then as that moves on quite up tempo and then gradually we start introducing little clips from the earlier pieces so sort the of motifs from the beginning of the piece and Denny Abbey just keep popping the heads in and it just builds to a, a climax and uh, we suddenly go from lots and lots of minor key, more sombre sounds to a bright major chord finish um, which I hope brings it to a, a fitting and positive outlook for the future. <laughs> 